We have um, Kathy Duva, um, John David Jackson, Sergey Kovalev, please. Thanks very much for joining us here today for the head-to-head uh, -head press conference between WBO and my heavyweight champion, Nathan Cleverley, and the challenger, Sergei Kovalev. Um, this fight's being promoted by myself in association with main events, represented by Kathy Duver on my left here. Um, before we start, I'd just like to introduce everybody on the top table. Starting from my left, we've got John David Jackson, uh, who I promoted in a fight over here in 1990 against Chris Pyatt, the very first WBO title fight back in those days. Next to him is Aegis Kilmas, who's the manager and interpreter. Then we have Sergei himself, as I said, Kathy, champion, Nathan Cleverly, and his father and trainer, Vince. Um, this is a, for me, it's a fantastic fight. It's a fight that, a fans fight. You've got two guys in here who are really well respected boxers, Nathan Cleverly undefeated, um, done everything that's been asked of him in his career, winning the British European Commonwealth title in record time and then going on to win the, the WBO title. We've got Sergey, number two ranked, he's 21 uh, wins, one, uh, one draw, 19 KOs, big puncher, never been past seven rounds, but dispatched most of his opponents within three rounds. Uh, he's a classic boxer, and Nathan can bang a bit against a, a good puncher, and I think Sergey can box a bit. So it's going to be, a, as I say, a great fight for the fans, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Tickets have gone very well. We've got just a few left, so if you want to get them, grab them quick before Saturday, because it's going to be a sellout. The show will be broadcast on Fox Nation here in the UK, HBO in America, and Channel One in Russia. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Beck Fred, Rainham Steel and Nemiroff Vodka, for helping us get this event together. Um, all the people are here. I know you've got a lot of questions to ask, so please feel free to do so after Kathy has a... Uh, well, thank you, Frank. Um, you know, the last time I was in Wales was about 20 years ago. Um, it was raining. Uh, every moment that I was here, in fact, it rained all the way through from the moment I arrived until after Lennox Lewis defeated Frank Bruno in a soccer stadium outdoors when it was raining sideways. And I'm told that the weather was here, but here was beautiful all week, uh, but I don't believe it because I just landed this morning and it's raining again. But we got a roof though. You got a roof. I, I said we're way ahead of the game this time. But anyway, so much for my reminiscence. Um, when I met Sergey for the first time less than a year ago, uh, he promised me he was going to become champion of the world. Uh, the day that he signed the contract with us, um, a little less than, than six months ago, first words out of his mouth were, were how soon can I get a title fight? And those, two, those are two true statements. So we're very delighted uh, to be here, to have this opportunity. Sergey, uh, the man on a mission, has been for quite some time. He is, I think, the happiest man I've ever known I'm watching him uh, since I've arrived this morning. And uh, we're, we just can't wait for the fight to get started. And I think if I'm going to say anything on his behalf, it's that. We can't wait. Uh, we want to thank everyone here for their hospitality. And I can promise you that uh, you won't be sorry if you come to see the fight. <coughs> Don't look away. Every moment of it is going to be spectacular. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Um, people say why we made this fight, and it was Nathan who actually wanted it. He suggested to me a meeting we had a few months ago in London. Um, this, from my point of view, is uh, been involved with Nathan from day one. It's a fight that can project him into some real big money fights. If he wins this fight, it's really simple. He winds up with a contract with HBO, which obviously means big payday. So he's got everything to gain from this one. And he knows how important it is. Uh, it's a fight he wanted. It's a fight he's got. And it's a fight that I feel that he can win. It's going to be tough. You know, a lot of respect for Sergey. He's, uh, he's, he's, I've seen a lot of his fights on film. But I think that you know, with Nathan, we've got somebody special. And I think this is like when Joe Calzaki fought many years ago. Um, 
he had, he had that fight up in in, uh, in Manchester, and everybody felt that it was going to be a, a tough fight again. Fight, which he came through in great style. This is his moment, and that propelled Joe Kawasaki into the big time. And this will do the same for Nathan if he comes through it. So that's where we are. We've got lots of questions. I'm sure or you've got lots of questions. I'm sure you'd like to ask. So please feel free to do so. But don't rush. So again, we all know that you can win fights in the first three rounds, but if it goes three rounds and you haven't won, will you start to doubt? Will you start to worry about having to go the full tour? No, I don't worry about this. I'm ready for both. Do you think you have the ability to outbox anything as well as a pint Yes, of course. I have experience. No first day in the box. Nathan, are you looking to take into the later rounds? Is that where you think that you're going to be really doing your damage? Yeah, well, we all know Sergei, um, 18 kills, first three rounds, so the record speaks for itself. No secret. Starts fast, he comes to, to knock you out. But um, you know, I've got a great chin, and I'm prepared for that. You know, I'm gonna obviously wipe out all his opponents, but I, I feel I'm a different level now. Um, and I'm gonna be there after three rounds. I'm gonna be there for the full fight. And you know, I it's gonna be very hard for him to beat me on this night. You know, because of my my stamina, my chin, and my, my speed. It's going to be very difficult. Oh, we're going to take a big factor? It's going to be great, great atmosphere. You know, it's um, nearly a sell of capacity, and only a few tickets left. So this is um, it's a special occasion for me, returning home, a massive crowd, and it's going to be a great fight to match. Uh, I'm, I'm, that's why I, I mentioned uh, the fight with, with Kovalev. We both like to fight on the front foot, and uh, it's going to be an explosive fight, I feel. Your career. Yeah, this is the most important fight of my career. Um, potentially the best fight of my career as well. Uh, potentially the best opponent. So this is uh, this is a tremendous fight, a real great fight. This. How big a risk is this fight? It's a big risk, but all fights are risk at this level. And, uh, you know, the American broadcasters have got behind Sergey. They like him. They like his style. He's exciting. But Nathan's inside him. You don't see him in too many boring fights, that's for sure. He likes to fight. He's, there's times where he lets his heart ball his head, where he drops his hands, and he'll, he'll have, as we call in the trade, a tear up. Um, but he's got to be top of his game. He's got to focus on what he's doing. You know, we all talk about what Sergey can do, but no one's put Sergey under pressure yet. So let's see how he goes when, when it's put on him. And that's really what the fight's going to be about. You know, how will he respond to Nathan's pressure? How will he respond to if he gets clipped on the chin? We'll find out. First of all, I'd like to welcome John, Sergey, Carthy to our country. Nice to see you. But um, how do I see the fight going? I see an Ethan Cleverly victory, 100% uh, victory. Um, Sergey knows that um, he's been knocked down before. He knows that uh, his chin is, is, um, can be, can be uh, his weakest point because uh, he's been down in the amateurs and I've never seen an amateur yet that's turned pro that I've been knocked down in, in the pro game. So I know that Sergey got a nice big chin for Nathan to land on. And unfortunately, he's going to be on the canvas on Saturday night. Can be, but we'll see. We'll see Saturday. So, perhaps you're going to respond to it for us <laughs> well, you know, the father, like, the father, like, the father, the father, the father, the father, the son's father, the father is very brave. He doesn't want to get hit come Saturday evening. So let him talk, you know, talk is cheap. Saturday, we'll see what happens when the world fight takes place.
Да, я хотел бы на это посмотреть. Сергей, ты был номер один каналом для Бернард Опкинс и Пасту, как Файнс Файт Нейфен. Что было причиной за этим? Почему? Я хочу, чтобы я хотел бы Потому что Hundred percent bound to fight, you know. Hopkins, yes or no, like no difference. We've been down that road. That's the difference. We got two guys now. I want Hopkins didn't didn't really want the fight. I want the fight. So we got two guys. Kovalev wants to fight, and I want the fight. So it's gonna be a it's gonna be a great fight. There's two guys hungry. It's, it's a proper proper fight. It's because I, I think this could be a candidate for fight of the year. I really do. So. No matter what anybody says, you know, not picked any easy jobs here. This is two good boxers, two good fighters, and it's going to be an explosion. There's no uh, doubt about that. In terms of, you know, this is um, we're both both undefeated, you know, but two two unbeaten guys. So, and everybody likes to see to see that because someone's got to lose for the first time, and uh, you know, this is. In the in the ring magazine, which are the the Bible of boxing, myself and Kovalev ranked uh, I think number three and four respectively. So this is um, top fight. I I really think that um, whatever the Russian tank brings to Nathan, I think Nathan got the artillery to blow up that tank. So this could be an art fight, but there's only going to be one winner. Nathan is trained like the challenger. He hasn't trained like the champion. He's trained like the challenger. And, uh, he definitely wants to win this fight. To fight Mr. Hopkins. Any more questions? Is this a similar set of problems that you faced in, say, the Baloo fight? The Baloo is a big puncher. Have you trained in a similar way for... Uh, um, uh, so again. I suppose similarities in terms of they was big punches, um, but I've, um, you, you take every fight as it comes, you know, not just just prepare for every fight as it comes and concentrate on what you were good at, what you're weak at, strengthen those weaknesses, and take them into the fight and box on instincts. And, you know, there's no real um, major game plan as such. Just. Just uh, go on, and on the night, just let it all happen. Are there any more questions? No more questions. <laughs> <laughs> Are there more questions? <laughs> uh, just talk about the undercard. We've got some cracking fights on the undercard as well. We've got Carly's own Gary Butlin defending his title against Stephen Smith super, in the Super Featherweight Division. We've got the Light Heavyweight Championship of the Commonwealth between Orville McKenzie and Enzo McInerney, a great rematch. Lewis Reeves is on the card. Uh, we've got a great, great bunch of youngsters also in some uh, competitive fights. So it should be a great, nice boxing for the fans. There are some tickets left. If you don't buy a ticket, it's on Box Nation. Please tune in and watch it or come see it. In the flesh, come see this great action. Which I think is the big fight of the year. All done. That's a very short, sweet press conference. Have you covered it all? Yeah. All good. Calm before the storm. Okay, fucking. Have so.